So here's our lesson on significant digits. When we do calculations, and they're going to be with approximate numbers, we're going to either have to give our answer stated to a number of significant digits or possibly a number of decimal places. If somebody asks for decimal places, that's pretty straightforward, but significant digits is might be something that we don't really know what they are right now or maybe we've forgotten. So for significant digits, we have some different rules that all digits, including zeros, are going to be significant, significant except for some specific cases the zeros leading in a decimal number. So here's an example. We have a value 0.0058 tons. That has two significant digits. Why is it only two? Well, you can see here that the leading zeros are not significant, so we don't count them. We just count the values that we can read, the non-05 and the non-08. Here's another example, 0 0.0124. That only has three significant digits. Again, we can see that the leading zeros are not considered significant, but the three non-zero numbers definitely are. We have another, another rule that the zeros trailing or at the end of a whole number. So we have a value here, 1,250 cubic meter, meters. It only has three significant digits. So we can see that the three non-zeros, the one, the two, and the five, are considered significant, but this trailing zero, it's sort of ambiguous. We don't know if we can read it or not read it. So consequently, we don't consider that significant. Here's another example, 4,500, and we should be anticipating that these last two zeros here in the ones place and the tens place, they're not considered significant, so we don't count them. So 4,500 has two significant digits, and we can see that with the underlined blue non-zero numbers. Now there are some ambiguous cases. What if we had that the 4,500 kilograms really had three or four significant digits? How would we show this? So what we do is we use a special symbol, and the special symbol is called a tilde. It's this sort of little curvy thing that we see on our keyboard. So if I wanted to show that 4,500 kilograms had three significant digits, well, the four and the five are non-zeros, so they just automatically count. But to show that this first zero is significant, I put the tilde over it. So using our notation, the blue underlined one, these are our three significant digits. But that last zero, there's no tilde over it, so it's not considered significant. So there's our tilde. To do the example with 4,500 having four significant digits, we just move the tilde over to the last significant zero. And then again, we can count all four of these numbers are significant, the four and the five being non-zeros, they always count. The zero with the tilde over it always counts. And then if a zero is between two numbers that are significant, well, it also is significant. So that's why we have four here.